Hello and welcome to Motivational Mondays. We are so happy that you decided to join us today. Uh, we Can Help team invited me to share this practice with everyone who would like to improve their mental health today. I am so, so delighted to offer this session for you, which I designed to help to reduce stress, anxiety, depression, and insomnia. For this lesson, you don't need any special equipment. You may want to have a little cushion nearby, or maybe a little blanket, or a bath towel will be all right as well. Uh, if you have a mat, that's amazing. If you don't have a mat, don't worry. You can crack practice on the carpet as well. So prepare your space and let's get started. Today's practice, we're going to begin laying down on the back. So go ahead and lay down. Uh, in this laying down position, three options for you. You can stretch your legs and move your feet uh, wide apart from each other and let the soles of your feel, uh, feet fall towards the floor. Another option, if you suffer with lower back tension or problem, you can bend your knees, place the soles of your feet on the ground, move your soles of your feet quite wide of, apart, and then let the knees to fall, to fall towards each other. And the third option is a hip opener. So you go like this, pr uh, bring the soles of your feet together, and then open your knees wide. Shuffle your shoulders, find a comfortable space, move your arms away from your body and turn your palms up. Gently close your eyes and find a peace and stillness. Just a, just a short relaxation to arrive into the space in your mind, arrive into this body into this present moment. Bring the awareness to your breath. Notice how the air come in as you breathe in. And notice how the air comes out as you breathe out. Nothing need to be changed, just your awareness, how the air comes in and out of your body. As you enjoy this breath here, try to relax your body with each exhalation. With each exhalation, relax your knees, your hips, your belly. Let go of tension in your chest. Relax your shoulders and arms. Maybe slightly tuck in the chin towards the chest to elongate the spine. Unclench your jaws. Relax the space between your eyebrows. Let the tongue fall towards your throat. Noticing your breath, how it comes in and out as you breathe in. Notice how your belly rises as you breathe in and how it falls towards the spine as you breathe out. Relax all of your body. Now I'd like to invite you to place your left hand on your heart and the right hand on your stomach. Relax your elbows down towards the floor, relax your shoulders. Consciously relax the whole of your body. 
And now I'd like to invite you to make a small breathing exercise. So as you breathe in, guide the breath all the way into your belly. Let the belly rise. As you breathe out, draw the belly towards the spine. Allow the belly to, to deflate. Breathe in, expand your belly. Breathe out, draw the belly towards the spine. Breathe in, expand your belly again. Breathe out, let the stomach fall. On the next inhale, expand the belly again. And then draw the breath into your chest, expand the chest after the belly. As you breathe out, breathe out from the belly. Let the chest follow. Inhale into your stomach, into your chest. Exhale from the stomach. Let the chest deflate. Once again, inhale, expand your belly. Expand your chest. Exhale from the belly. Exhale from the chest. And now breathe, just relax and breathe naturally. If your legs are bent, uh, or if your soles of your feet together at this point, please uh, straighten your legs and you may open your eyes. You can keep your eyes open, uh, sorry, closed. Uh, if you just want to listen to my voice and follow the instructions, otherwise feel free to open your eyes at this point. You're going to inhale and as you exhale, bring the right knee to your chest and hug the knee towards your body. Make sure your left leg is straight, your toes are pointed, and begin to point and flex the toes of your right leg. Continue to breathe, do not hold your breath. And from here, bring the hands underneath your thigh and then see if you can extend the leg as much as, you, as it's possible for you. Don't worry, if you cannot clasp your hands underneath your thigh, just get hold of the leg and keep it where it is more comfortable for you. So if you have more flexibility, see if you can raise the hands up your leg and bring the leg a little bit closer to your chest and begin to draw little circles with the ankle any direction you want relax your shoulders relax your face breathe in and as you breathe out change direction of the circle circle the ankle into opposite direction make your breath easy but make it longer than you usually would do okay bring the knee to your chest bend the knee you're going to extend your right arm uh, to the right palm facing down and bring your right knee to the left you may bring the left hands to the knee and allow to uh, the foot and knee to fall to the ground the aim is the aim here is to bring the knee to the floor don't worry if the knee doesn't touch we are working towards that uh, notice if your elbow is hanging on the ground or over the ground move the hand slightly and find a space on the floor to lower the uh, elbow to the ground you also if you feel uncomfortable in your hips see if you move in hips slightly to the right allow you to, would allow you to go into a deeper posture from here to take a really deep breath in and as you breathe out turn your head to the right make sure your right shoulder is on the ground and your palm facing down try to relax your stomach your hips the legs Breathe in, 
slowly breathe out. Breathe in again. And as you breathe out, slowly, slowly come back into the middle. <laughs> My Charlie cat came over. Likes to practice yoga. Catward facing dog. <laughs> um, bring the left knee to your chest and hug the knee closer to your body. Relax your shoulders. Point the toes of both feet. And begin to point and flex the toes of your left foot. Point and flex and breathe in and breathe out. Relax. And now bring the hands underneath your thigh and extend the leg towards the ceiling. If you have once again, if you have flexibility, draw the hands up the leg and then bring it a little bit closer to your chest. Begin to draw little circles any direction you want. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. And now change direction of the circle. Inhale. And then slowly exhale. And bend the knee. Bring the knee closer to your chest. Extend the left hand. Uh, to the left with the palm facing down and then begin to bring the left knee to the right once again you may want to move your hip very slightly to the left to allow more um, space for your knee to come down and then bring the right hand to the knee and then see if you can lower the elbow of the right arm to the ground Take a deep breath in here. As you exhale, relax your body and turn your head to the left. Make sure your shoulder of the right hand of the right arm is on the ground. You may want to close your eyes. Let go of tension in your legs and your hips. Keep breathing in. Slowly breathe out. Breathe in again and then breathe out. And now uh, slowly, slowly uh, return back into the center and bring both knees to your chest. Slightly rock from side to side, massage in your lower back. Next posture is called happy baby. Imagine baby who's grabbing their feet and they're so happy in their cradle. So what you're going to do, you're going to extend the heels towards the ceiling, bend the knees as much as you can, and then separate the knees as wide as possible. And with your hands, if you can reach the so e soles of your feet, edges of your feet, it's great. If not, don't worry, you can just get hold of the shins or maybe ankles. Make sure you draw the uh, knees towards your armpit as you are getting into this posture and then draw the tailbone down towards the ground. And then draw the shoulders towards the ground. Move your shoulders away from your ears. F flex your toes. Point your heels towards the ceiling, to uh, side to side. Rock from side to side. My always need to make a trouble. <laughs> he was asleep. Now he needs to go to the kitchen. All right. Bring the knees to your chest, and then bring the hands underneath your thighs straighten your legs and begin to rock back and forth back and forth until you're able to sit down on your mat job done <laughs> um, please go ahead sit down on the mat cross-legged 
In this position, sometimes it's a little bit uh, difficult for those who have uh, tension in their hips. So if you have a blanket cushion or a towel, go ahead and place it underneath, underneath your buttocks and then let the move your pelvis a little bit forward and then let let the knees to fall to either side move the heels one in front of the other okay so like this place the hands on your knees and then push the chest forward straighten the spine lift the chin up look up towards the ceiling pull the knees towards you open your heart inhale and as you exhale begin to round your shoulders round your back draw the chin towards the chest lean backwards get hold of your knees and round your back as you inhale open again lift the chin up straighten your spine exhale and round and close chin to chest look at your belly button inhale rise and open exhale round your spine chin to chest and come to neutral spine i don't need cushion but you feel free to use the cushion um, next exercise is to relieve the tension in your neck so uh, take your right hand place it on the opposite ear straighten your spine and then begin to draw the ear to your shoulder you may want to close your eyes draw the left shoulder away from your ears do not pull your head towards the shoulder just gently rest the hand on your ear or towards the ear and let the gravity do all the job for you if you want extra stretch reach the fingertips towards the ground take a deep long breath in and as you exhale relax your body relax your stomach relax your face very slowly let go of the head return the hand to your knee and then slowly come back into the middle place the other hands on opposite ear and begin to draw the ear to your shoulder once again do not push your head just gently rest your hand on the ear make sure your spine is straight and you draw in that shoulder away from the ear you may want to uh, to reach your fingertips to the ground feel free to close your eyes take a deep long breath in and as you exhale relax inhale again and as you exhale relax a little bit more stay in this uh, state of peace and calm enjoy the breath enjoy the stretch very slowly let go of the head and return into neutral position and begin to draw circles with your head as you inhale lift the chin up look up towards the ceiling or close your eyes even and as you breathe out draw the chin towards the chest inhale look uh, up chin up exhale chin to chest one more time inhale chin up exhale chin to chest 
and change direction inhale chin up exhale chin to chest inhale chin up and exhale chin to chest one more last time inhale as you exhale chin to chest okay interlace your fingers in front of you and then bring your hands to the back of your head you're going to push your chest forward and open the elbows as wide as you can lift your chin up look towards the ceiling breathe in slowly breathe out inhale again and as you exhale begin to draw the chin to the chest and begin to draw the elbows towards each other there is, will be slight uh, pressure towards your head you kind of like pushing your head a little bit closer towards your chest but not too much if you feel pain please back off close your eyes and take a very long deep breath in concentrate it on the space at the back of your neck and your shoulders and as you exhale let go of tension in these areas breathe in again into the areas of where you feel tension And then slowly exhale, relax those areas. One more last time, inhale. And then as you exhale, very slowly begin to bring the head to the center. Open the elbows, look up towards the sky, open your chest, lift the chin up. And let go of your head, come back into the center. Place your left hands on your right knee and other hands behind you. Uh, make sure you're not leaning backwards like this. For example, I have slightly shorter hands <laughs> than others. Be uh, the tightness of my shoulders do not allow me to put the whole hand on the ground and stay uh, completely upright. Therefore, I like to keep myself on fingertips I'm pushing my chest forward, straightening the spine. And I'm going to inhale here. And as I ask, exhale, turn my head and the whole body is striving to turn to the right. I'm also pushing the knee a little bit towards me. Inhale here. And as you exhale, twist a little bit more. Relax your knees. Keep your chest open, inhale again, exhale and let go of tension. Take another inhale and as you exhale come back to the center, change hands, inhale again, lift the chest up, straighten the spine and as you exhale turn towards the other side of your room look over your shoulders keep your chin up let go of tension in your hips and knees take a deep inhale and as you exhale twist a little bit more keep your spine straight keep your face relaxed inhale once again exhale and twist And inhale again and as you exhale return back into the center we're going to inhale lift the right arm up towards the sky look at your fingertips and as you exhale reach over your head make sure both of your sitting bones are touching the ground if you find yourself that one side is lifting like so Push the ground away. Keep yourself grounded. Reach the hands as if you're trying to reach for something, I don't know, 
delicious apple or an interesting book from the shelf. Inhale here, look at your fingers and as you exhale, open your chest, breathe. If your neck allows you, look at your fingers. If it's too difficult, you can look down or in front of you. Keep reaching that arm up and over and open your chest. Take another deep long breath in here and as you exhale, return to the center. Inhale, reach towards the sky. Exhale, reach over the head. Once again, reach and reach and reach and make sure the sitting bones are touching the ground. Look at your fingers if you can. Take another deep long breath in here. And as you exhale, open your chest to the sky. Look at your fingers if you can. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Take another inhalation. And as you exhale, return to the center. Straight your legs and give your legs a little shake. Okay. Uh, from here, you're going to place the hands behind you as far as you can but keep the hands, fl uh, uh, palms flat on the ground. Flex the toes, sorry, point the toes, and you're going to push the belly and the chest forward and draw the shoulder blades towards each other. Breathe in here. And as you exhale, try to lift the hips off the ground. And then tilt your head backwards. Inhale here again. And as you exhale, return back into the neutral pose. Next posture, uh, we're going to fold forward over the leg. Uh, a lot of the time people have really tight hamstrings. So don't worry about keeping your legs straight. This posture is um, just to relax uh, uh, release the tension in your lower back so if you have really tight hamstrings go ahead and grab a cushion or a blanket or whatever you are using maybe a towel and um, um, if you have a square cushion like this I suggest that you fold it into a little roll like this and place it underneath your knees uh, separate your knees hip with distance apart and place the hands on the ground in here you're going to reach the belly forward chest forward and uh, it's as if you're sticking your tailbone out like this okay inhale lift the heart up and as you exhale begin to fold forward fold forward and relax your head down between your knees Breathe in and slowly breathe out. You may want to close your eyes and feel free to move your head from side to side. Yes and no. As you breathe in, breathe into those areas where you hold attention the most. And as you breathe out, relax the whole of your body. And return back into the center. Cross your legs. Uh, in next position, I suggest that you move your feet slightly apart so that the heel heels are placed one in front of the other uh, place your fingertips in front of you open your heart straighten your spine lift the chin up inhale and as you exhale begin to walk your hands forward fold over your feet 
take a full breath in here and as you exhale relax maybe move your head from side to side close your eyes let go of anything and everything enjoy your moment enjoy this practice Take another full breath in here. And as you exhale, walk your hands back to the middle and come to neutral pose. Change the position of the feet so, so that uh, you, sw you swap, you now place the other leg in front and the other leg behind. So like this, once again, fingers in front of you open your chest lift the chin up straighten your spine inhale and as you exhale walk your hands forward and then fold over your feet relax your shoulders and clench your jaws relax the space between your eyebrows Feel free to move your head, release tension in that neck. Okay, take a full breath in here. And as you exhale, walk your hands back to the center. Uh, in next position, go ahead and lay down on the mat. Lay down on the mat, bend the knees and bring the soles of your feet to the ground. Uh, see if you can tiptoe your feet as close to your butt as you can. And then separate your feet, hip and knees, kind of like hip width distance apart. Imagine that you have a yoga block between your inner thighs. Engage your inner thighs and place the palms on the ground and see if your fingers can reach the, the heels, okay? Don't worry if, if it's too difficult, but the aim is for your fingers to touch your, your heels. Adjust your shoulders so that everything is flat on the ground. Take a full inhale here, pressing the floor away with your palm, lift the hips up towards the, ground, uh, towards the ceiling and lift the belly up squeeze your glutes engage your inner thighs keep pushing the floor away you may if you want you can stay in this position and breathe if you want a little bit more clasp the hands into interlock and then move the shoulders towards each other move the hands towards the heels and keep lifting the show uh, the belly and the chest and the hips up keep your uh, inner thighs engaged this is a bridge pose and inhale here exhale and stay once again inhale and as you exhale return back into the floor and you will be happy to hear that this was the last position uh, and we are moving into Shavasana so just like at the beginning of this lesson there are three options how you can relax uh, in Shavasana the best one is with your legs straight this is the most common one and uh, I, I think this is one that's the best for me but if you have lower back problem, feel free to bend your knees or if you want hip and opener, soles of your feet together, knees apart. So if you are in this position, a classical corpse pose, Shavasana is translated from Sanskrit as a corpse pose. If you didn't know, uh, and uh, as a corpse, you're supposed to do nothing but just breathe. So. Let the feet fall to either side, relax your legs, move your arms and hands away from your body and then open the palms up towards the sky. 
wiggle your hips and wiggle your shoulders and find the most comfortable spot uh, for yourself and then slightly tuck in chin towards your chest close your eyes take a long 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 deep breath in through the nose and slow breath in through the nose and then slowly exhale through the mouth two more times inhale slowly through the nose expanding your belly expanding your chest and then slowly exhale through the mouth one more time slowly exhale inhale through the nose and as you exhale open your mouth and let go of all of the air now completely relax let go of your thoughts let go of tension in your body enjoy the stillness and peace feel how the ground is supporting you As you're laying down in here, I would like to invite you to imagine that there is a white, beautiful light approaching your feet. And then it slowly begins to enter your body through your feet. And as that light is traveling up your legs, it's filling, up, filling you up with a warm cozy feeling of relaxation and peace and you feel loved and you feel relaxed and at peace with yourself the light is traveling through the core of your spine into your heart and then the center of your heart begin to shine such a bright and beautiful and uh, loving light begin to spill in out of your heart center and it envelops you into a protective aura each time you breathe in the light becomes brighter and brighter and as you breathe out, you begin to circulate around your body, creating this beautiful, loving, protective aura of peace and happiness with yourself. Remember that uh, at any stressful situation, you can always come back to this space of peace in your heart imagine the beautiful white warm light radiating from your heart it's always there it's always there for you to bring peace and harmony into your life and take a long deep breath in feeling all of your being expand your belly expand your chest and then as you exhale relax your body slowly begin to bring your awareness back into your body awaken your mind begin to move your fingers and toes slowly if any of you have a heart condition or if you are pregnant please turn to your left hand side everyone else slowly move to the right hand side keep your eyes closed and just lay here for a few breaths on the right hand side 
preparing yourself for awakening and getting up and to go on with your day okay using your uh, hand push the floor away and sit up on the mat cross-legged for the last moment bring the hands in front of your heart uh, close your eyes and bow the chin to your chest take a moment to contemplate on your practice today whether uh, whether you achieve what you wanted or maybe there is a little room for improvement let this be beginning of your yoga journey uh, fall in love with yourself over and over again every time you practice yoga because uh, you know, practicing yoga you are dedicating time for yourself and that is uh, a little portion of self-love self that everyone needs in their life and now lift the chin up open your eyes I hope you felt uh, relaxed and laughed today I hope you enjoy this practice uh, thank you so much for uh, coming and um, practicing with us today you are so amazing um, I would like to uh, ask you to do a favor as a small token for this practice we would like you to um, tell all of your friends about uh, we can help group and invite everyone um, to join this group so that together we can beat the stigma about mental health thank you so much for practicing with me today namaste